Brighton will play with these players today. He's through. Must be a goal. So close. The post. Good interception there. At full extension, the goalkeeper makes the save. Here comes the corner. Not really away from the threat here. I don't think there's anyone more likely in the Newcastle United lineup to be the man of the match today than this guy. There's a lot of quick players about, but uh, it's not always easy to use that speed. But this boy has mastered that to a T. Paul Dummett. Miguel Almirón. John Joe Shelby. Read to play well. Christian Atsu. They read the opponent's mind and got the ball. Spotted that well and intercepted. Emil Kraft. Here is Almiron. John Joe Shelby. Oh, great chance. Plenty of power, but not too much direction. Cut out the pass. John Joe Shelby. Saw the pass and dealt with it. That's a good challenge. David Perper. A little bit risky, this manoeuvre, of dropping off, because the ball will keep coming. That's something for him to chase. Well, the play is broken down now. On the front foot now, they've got a corner, hoping for the goal that will put them in the lead. Corner played in. Only partially away from danger. Brilliant defending. It saved a certain goal. He was almost wheeling away to celebrate there. Now Atsu. Well, he's made sure that that attack came to nothing. Montoya. Well, as we can see, there's not much at all to choose between these two teams in terms of possession. You do wonder if one of these teams can make the difference in the remainder of this match. Oh, time to get the cross now. That's going to run on through to the goalkeeper. David Perper. Montoya. Gross. Well, here he goes. It's good to see a player do this. Very good positioning by the defender. Prepper. The referee is We've got two added minutes. That's been signaled now. Leandro Trossa. Well, that is half time, and the score is nil nil here. Absolutely nothing between these two very good teams, but because they're so evenly matched, 
It hasn't quite been the spectacle, and maybe we predicted that. Well, we were expecting it, but you've got to admire the two defences, Martin. They've been uh, really organised. Some top-class work from those. So close, the post. Good interception there. At full extension, the goalkeeper makes the save. power but not too much still great anticipation here as we get ready for the second half Hello and welcome, and if the weather forecasters are to be believed, we're in for a very rainy night here at the Etihad Stadium in Manchester. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Manchester City taking on Liverpool. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Always my favourite time of the week, spending time with you at games. We should be in for a belter here with these two. Number 21. David Silva. Number 20, Bernardo Silva. Number 10, Sergio Aguero. And number 7, Rahim. And so they starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson between the posts. John Stern starts alongside Nicolas Sotomendi in central defence. Kevin De Bruyne starts with Rodri in central midfield. And leading the line is Sergio Aguero. Take a look at the Liverpool starting 11. The highly rated Brazilian Alisson begins between the posts. Rachel van Dijk plays alongside Joel Matip in central defence. Mohamed Salah plays with Sadio Mane out wide. And leading the attack today is the ultimate pressing machine, Roberto Firmino. Well, you think back to last season's title race and you think back to some of the key moments. City's win over Liverpool in January, so important in the grand scheme of things, Lee. Well, it was. I remember people talking about it being a title decider on the 3rd of January. It's <laughs> ridiculous. But as it happens, pivotal moment in City winning the title, you have to say, in hindsight, absolutely. This should be one to savour. Manchester City get the contest underway. Aguero, Sterling has it, Aguero, Sterling, that needs an accurate cross, 
good idea that particular move, but not to be. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Roberto Firmino. Mane. Well, a terrific counter-attack, but a disappointing finish. Well, how quick can they break? Superb build-up. Fast, incisive, but poor in the end, though. good reading of the game to win possession back Matip now this is Salah Henderson others to play it to Roberto Firmino Henderson Ronaldo. well that is a defender's job to come to the rescue a good looking move it's with Bernardo Silva. Significant acreage for City to run into. Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. Alexander Zinchenko. David Silva. Space and time for the cross. Rodri Aguero Will he finish? And it's in for Manchester City Well it's one thing knowing what he can do It's another thing altogether Attempting to stop it Well let's take a look at this replay The difference between a good player And some of the best players Is they don't need to take a touch Gets his shot away First time Nothing else matters but concentrating on that ball. Well, he's every right to be angry. The players are not executing his game plan today. So, underway once more. Manchester City with the advantage. Fabinho Alexander-Arnold has it it's with Roberto Firmino this is Salah he's given it straight to the opposition City know that wide area is really opening up well he went strongly into the challenge and the result is a throw in Walker now. He continues to make hay. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. Roberto Firmino. That's a very impressive piece of defending. Aguero. Well, there certainly was a blue moon over English football last season. Manchester City winning the title, pipping Liverpool at the post. Not only that, securing the domestic treble league. Why, well, it was an incredible season, wasn't it? Well, this might pay dividends. Fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Cut out by Otamendi. It's with Bernardo Silva. Walker. Bernardo Silva. Slipshod passing.
It is to be a throw-in. The ball with Rodri. De Bruyne. David Silva. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Now can they counter clinically? Henderson. They might be able to get in now. Well, it was a fantastic counter-attack, but a damp squib of a finish. Well, yeah, they sucked the opposition onto him, then hit him with speed. All was good until the final effort. Rodri, De Bruyne, Aguero. Any sort of lead is important. They have the lead. What have you made of it so far? Well, City will be happy if it stays like this. Still some work to do in the second half, though. With the clock ticking down before their half-time cup of tea, it's really important you keep your concentration. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Three minutes of added time. And Mohamed Salah now. And they deal with the threat this time. Not to be in terms of the cross there. Goal kick coming up. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. This should be one. Now the teams have switched around, ready for the second half. And it's Liverpool who get the ball rolling. Sadio Mane now. Liverpool throw in here. Van Dijk. Mane. Went in strongly, decisively. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Roberto Firmino. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Mane. Couldn't keep it. Salah, not messing around with that clearance. It's with Bernardo Silva. Walker, Bernardo Silva. Sergio Aguero has it. Tauti defending to win the ball back. Roberto Firmino, Fabinho. They don't normally need a second invitation to give it a go on the counter. Alexander Arnold uh, just couldn't keep the ball. Half an hour remaining then.
open up my eyes to the sun on my skin. Trying to get up well, so I hit up my kin. We down to go somewhere to pull up last night again. They know what's at them. Might give us a regular. Who has the sauce sweet? Who brings the ginger to the floor? Me. Who has the kids so hype? Up to your mom and down to your wife. Who has the sauce sweet? Who brings the ginger to the floor? Me. Who has the kids so hype? Up to your mom and down to your wife. One of the stately homes of English football, Old Trafford in Manchester. That's where we are today. And a lovely day it is too. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. The match has so much potential and kickoff is just moments away. Manchester United against Cambridge United. Now, there's certainly a buzz in this stadium in the uh, minutes leading up to kickoff. I hope the match doesn't disappoint. I don't think it will. We've got a couple of attacking sides here. Thank you, Old Trafford. Enjoy the game. There is an expectation here at Old Trafford, isn't there, Alan, about the style of football that Manchester United should be playing, not just about winning. They want to win with a bit of a flourish. Yes, they do, and that hasn't always been the case in recent times under Louis van Gaal and Jose Mourinho. The football has differed, you might say, from the golden years under Sir Alex Ferguson. It's Pereira. Now Marcus Rashford. This is how they love to play on the break. The ball's loose. Goalkeeper made the save, but he couldn't hold it. And the ball knocked away long. This is then the Manchester United lineup. David De Gea starts in goal. Victor Lindelof plays alongside Harry Maguire at the back. Marcus Rashford is the main man up front. Got his foot in to cut out the pass. Here's Shaw, James. Threads it through. Now looking for Juan Mata in the middle. Cross has gone straight to the defender who's got time for an extra touch. Intercepted well. Aaron Juan Bissaka. Mata. Now Marcus Rashford. Rashford. Now it's offside, and it looks as though they might be in to score. Good interception there. Here's Mata at speed. Chance to put it in the box from here. Oh, Rashford! That's the breakthrough! It's been a very good start to this game. And they've got the goal that really their football has suggested would come. You wonder whether missing chances would leave them regretting those misses. But now they've opened the scoring. And you would feel that they'll go on and win from here. Well, it looks simple, but this lad has got a great instinct of drifting into space, being in the right place at the right time. The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken. Manchester United have moved into the lead, and there's no great surprise in that. Smith. That's good passing, probing. He fancies his chances in getting past these players. Simple save for David De Gea. James. 
Mata. Shaw. Manchester United moving into the attack. Could whip it in from here. Taken the touch and now needs to clear. Important touch from the defender there. Hi there everybody, welcome to the beautiful city of Barcelona. Thanks for joining us, we're delighted to see you. Martin Tyler here, along with Alan Smith on the television gantry. The game has all the elements really to excite us, and I'm sure it will live up to the billing. This should be a special game, Alan. Well, what an arena we've got here, perfectly suited to football and two very noisy sets of fans. What a backdrop that should be to what on paper should be a, an entertaining match. Barcelona's lineup here. Marc Andre Testegen starts in goal. Gerard Piquet starts alongside Clement Longley at the back. Luis Suarez is the lone striker today. This is the lineup for the away side. Marc Andre Testegen starts in goal. David Alaba starts with Americ Laporte as the centre backs. And Roberto Firmino is the one striker. Well, there are players here who stand out a bit. These two in particular, I think, today, Alan. Well, two excellent attacking players we are treated to seeing. They're really enjoying good seasons, and I'm expecting a bit more of the same today. Conte. Trying to spot. Catching practice, indeed, for the goalkeeper here from that poor cross. Just a mistake, really. He's not even asked too much of the opponent. It's just a mishit pass. Messi! Push back. Well, that is from the realms of footballing miracles. It's a brilliant clearance from the line. He is a defender, an out-and-out -out one. His instincts were fantastic there. Been closed down now. Barcelona, they got away with one there, and the fans recognise it. Griezmann. Messi intercepts here. Trying to find an opportunity. Well, spoke too soon, I guess. They were moving the ball around nicely, but now they've lost it. Referee has blown, and he's given the free kick. <laughs> Luis Suarez. Suarez here. There was danger, but he's cleared it. Still very much the benchmark Barcelona, aren't they, for the style of football. And little tweaks here and there, but uh, very much uh, a standard that these players have to rise to. Yes, I think that's fair. Tiki Taka, as it is known, that short style passing game. They have amended it to a certain extent, and I think you've got to do that against certain sides. Contact. Pogba and Gola Conte saw the direction of the pass here's De Jong Sergio Busquets 
Collecting the ball in midfield is Luis Suarez. Bit of keep ball going on here. Sergi Roberto. Opportunity to play it into the middle. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. And now Messi. Sergi Roberto. It's Messi. Can put them in front here. Kept his concentration, the goalkeeper, and because of that, kept hold of the ball. Yeah, he seems to fill the goal, this lad. He's quite an imposing keeper. Talk back. Roberto Firmino. Conte. Probing with the pass. Great stop. In goes the corner. And now the goalkeeper can maybe think about starting an attack. Seems as if neither side really wants to commit here. The longer it goes on, though, you'd expect that to change. It's messy. Semedo. Sergio Busquets. Togba. Here's Isco. And now Messi. It's Isco. And here they are, still probing away. Has a go here. And he's opened the scoring here. Well, it's a good finish. They've had one or two opportunities, but not... Quite as clean cut as this one. And that has opened the scoring. 1 0 here. Crowd uh, may be expected a bit more, but it's two added minutes. Semedo. Sergio Roberto. It's Messi. And that's half time. Signaled by the referee. 1 0. Probing with the pass. Referee just checking everything is in order, and he blows for the second half to start. Here's Isco. Pogba. It's Bernardo Silva. Excellent vision, and here's Paul Pogba. Could get his cross in now. That will be offside. Flag went up. <laughs> Lionel Messi, his first half performance, Alan. Oh, it's good first half performance from him, and not just with the late goal, which was really important to get his team ahead, but everything he did was nice and sharp. Messi, here's Isco. Tackle goes in. Now Messi. Sergio Busquets. Jordi Alba. Lionel Messi. Now it's De Jong. The build-up is patient. Now it's Suarez. Suarez. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Pogba.
David Alaba. Read the intentions. Superb shimmy then. Well, when you want a player to beat them. Incisive pass. Now it's offside. The substitute coming on to try and repair the damage now. Conte. It's Isco. Here's Conte. And here's Messi in his wide areas where he's such a danger. Trying to get the ball. Frankie de Jong. Sergio Busquets. Ivan Rakitic. Keeping calm in the pursuit of uh, an equalising goal here. Not panicking. He's got some strength, hasn't he, to shield the ball like that. Pogba. Excellent interception. Roberto Firmino. Pogba. Good interception. The Barca fans doing all they can to urge their team forward in these closing minutes. Giving it away, Barcelona. Roberto Firmino. Pogba. It's good work here in terms of possession. Can they find the final pass? Cleared away by the defender. Now Messi. Down the back bench. Barcelona want to make a change now. Semedo. Griezmann. And that's dealt with the problem. Griezmann. De Jong. And that is the equaliser. What late drama here. Well, I thought this was done and dusted, but he didn't, did he? Popped up. What a goal. He took a chance to get in there, and the ball just fell perfectly for him. Couldn't miss from there. No, he couldn't. Point blank effort. But uh, you have got to be in the positions, haven't you, to miss them? The old saying goes true. So, away we go at one all. Well, the clock's showing uh, nine minutes left to play. And it is a Barcelona substitution we're about to see. Roberto Firmino. Conte. Pogba. Well, they couldn't keep possession, they've given it away. An attack that wasn't quite that in the end. David Alaba. Pogba. Conte. Trying a bit too hard trying to force the pass and it went uh, straight to an opponent. Pogba. Room in which to attack. Here's Conte. Well, they're breaking, and there's a chance here to win the game. Messi. Roberto Firmino. Good vision here. That's very gallant goalkeeping to get the ball at the feet of the opponent. The yeah, keeper showed a bit of pace there, actually, to make up the ground and close down the attacker. Well, we're down to the last minute here. Luis Suarez. Jordi Alba. He's confident with the ball at his feet, isn't he? Suarez. And the 90 minutes are up now, and the whistle goes, it's still level. Probing with the...